Hello, I'm Gillian Mabbitt from the Career Service and I work as part of the team who deliver the career development modules. I'm also the module leader for MCL 2007 Career Development Module for Second Year Students. This is a short video to tell you more about the modules for the 2022-23 academic year to help you to make informed decisions ahead of your module choice period in May. The Career Development Module, NCL 2007, is a 20 credit optional module available in the second year with the credits spread across the year. They involve learning from planned experiences which take the form of engagement with professional activity. For 2022-23, this could take the form of a placement for a minimum of 50 hours or other planned professional experience for an equivalent amount of time. You should plan to complete at least 30 hours of your professional activity in semester two to fit with the module teaching and assessment program. There are several routes available through the module depending on the type of experience or placement you will be undertaking. Student tutoring, student volunteering and learning from work or other professional experiences. For students who are unable to secure a placement through the three main placement routes, which I'll discuss in a moment, we are working to secure an option of engagement with professional organisations from a variety of sectors through a group consultancy project, which will take 50 hours and be conducted in semesters one and two. And we will share more details of this option in the autumn. Students following the student tutoring route would act as a tutor or classroom assistant, supporting a teacher with individual students or groups of pupils, developing resources and providing additional support in the classroom. We are currently exploring how many school-based placements we will have available in 2022-23. Due to other pressures on schools post-pandemic, some placements for this route may be in other educational settings and or involve working remotely to support pupils through organisations such as Action Tutoring. Students with prior experience or contacts with schools can also explore setting up their own tutoring placement with support from the Careers Service. Other students choosing the module and wishing to follow the tutoring route will complete a preference form upon starting the module and be sent details of their placement by November. Students who choose the volunteering route complete activities in a variety of contexts. Students who will be fulfilling a significant committee role for a ratified club or society, or who have a significant role with the Courier or Newcastle Student Radio, can use this as their placement route through volunteering, provided that this is agreed in advance with the Students' Union staff. The Students' Union also has a range of placements available with external voluntary organisations, which you can apply for through their website. Some of these projects are likely to take place in person, some will be virtual, and some a combination of the two. Please see the Students' Union website for full details of these. Opportunities include a wide range of roles in different contexts, including working with young people, working with adults, or in supporting roles including administration and marketing for a number of charities and voluntary organisations. If you already have a part-time job arranged for the next academic year, which allows you to fulfil the module hour requirements and develop your graduate skills, you may be able to use this for the module by the learning from work route. You will work through the module to plan opportunities for your development through your part-time role. You will be required to provide details of your role and workplace before starting the module for the career service to check to ensure that the placement is suitable. Full details of the module curriculum, teaching and assessment methods can be found on the university module catalogue. For NCL 2007, this includes a combination of large group synchronous online sessions and small group discussion-based seminars which take place in person on campus and are led by myself and other members of the curriculum team. You will also engage with a range of learning materials via Canvas 
and the teaching will enable you to explore the skills and attributes you will need upon graduation and which will be developed through your professional experience to further explore your career ideas. You will set challenging and meaningful personal goals, monitor and reflect upon your progress towards these goals and present examples of your development and achievement using formats and techniques which are transferable to future applications and job roles. The assessment for NCL 2007 includes a number of short engagement tasks which are submitted to Canvas weekly across the year to support and enhance your learning experience. The two other submissions are a written planning piece, the personal development plan, which focuses on goal setting and action planning, which you will submit in semester one, and then a summative assessed presentation, which is submitted as a voiceover PowerPoint, which focuses on your achievements towards your personal goals and the outcomes of these, which is submitted in semester two. Reasons students choose a career development module include the flexibility to focus upon skills and to set personal goals that are meaningful to them and link to their future career plans, the opportunity to gain experience in a professional context, the range of assessment methods that are available, the employability benefits of undertaking the module and spending time learning about themselves and their career plans, as well as the opportunity to challenge themselves by working in a different context. Here are some quotes from previous year's students who have completed the module, which summarises some of these benefits. So what next? If you are interested in choosing NCL 2007 as one of your modules for 22-23, you must select it during the module choice period in May through S3P. If you are unsure whether you're able to take NCL 2007 as part of your degree programme, you should contact your degree programme director or the school office ahead of this period to check whether it is available to you as an optional module. Please note that all career service modules are capped and they did reach their capacity during module choice week last year. So we would advise you making your module choices on the morning of the day that the system opens for your course to ensure that you can secure a place. We will contact all students who've chosen the module in late May or early June with advice on what you will need to do next to secure your placement. Students following the volunteering and learning from work placement routes must have a confirmed placement by the start of the module in September and so should begin applying for opportunities over the summer. If you have any questions about the module after listening to this presentation and reading the information on our website, please contact us using one of the email addresses on the slide. Thank you very much.